Hey guys, what's up? My name is Amy if you're new here and today I decided to tell you all about Over You. So Over You is the third song that I've ever put out. It came out last year on June 24th and it was my most poppy upbeat song so I'm really excited to share this with you guys. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. So this song was inspired by Just Friends by Audrey Mika. This song came out around that time that I was starting to write a new song and I really wanted to write like a really fun, poppy, summery type beat kind of song and so that's where that came from. And so that's what I told Josh, I showed him like what I was really inspired by and so that's where we started to write Over You. And so Over You is obviously, like I said in my other videos, all my songs are about the same person and so this is also about getting over the person, finally feeling like you can go to sleep without crying and that you can um, just wake up feeling happy and not feeling like you're being drained by everything that this person has put you through. And yeah, it's honestly one of my most like positive songs, I guess. It's still kind of like a sad song, but it's about recovery and finally letting go and finally just finding yourself and your inner happiness. And so, yeah, I love this song. It makes me really, really happy and I usually sing it in every single one of my live streams. And so yeah, I did a lot of layering in the song and harmonies. That's when I started to really experiment with that. And so yeah, so I did um, No More Nights Losing Sleep and then Crying Over You. I did like Crying Over You and Crying Over You. Or that's normal. Yeah, anyways, so I did like different octaves for it and tried to make it like seem like more people were kind of like saying it with me kind of thing. And I really wanted to have like an emphasis on the Over You part. And so as for the verse, it says, um, It's been a while since I felt like I need you here. At first I wrote, I took a while, but I feel like I have found myself. But the thing is, and the I and the found myself didn't really flow very well. So what I did was, It's been a while since I felt like I need you here, like need you here, kind of flows a little bit better than find myself, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not really good at explaining this stuff, I feel like all I say is flow and rhythm, but yeah. So obviously I wanted this song to say like, over you, but I wanted it to be like different things. So I did like, no more nights losing sleep, and then it'd be like crying over you. And then it goes, if I'm not what you want, then I'm over you. And I feel like it's been long overdue. I'm just happy that I'm over you. And so for the chorus, each time I said something different. So I said, so relieved that I am over you. I'm just happy that I'm over you. It took forever to get over you. Those are all different. So I changed the wording so that it's kind of like a different uh, twist at the end, I guess, for every single time I sing the chorus. And so I feel like that's something, if you can do that in your chorus or something like that just because choruses are usually always the same lyrics so just to kind of change it up sometimes it keeps it interesting and so that's what I did there and so I did the same thing for my pre-chorus as well I wrote I just needed you to know that I've been on my own who knew that it feels so good and same thing for the second time I wrote um, I just wanted you to see that I'm fine on my own Who knew that I feel so free so kind of like that I feel like I was really um, off pitch there but yeah that's basically what I did I kind of changed it up a little bit but the pattern stays the same so that it's easier for people to sing along and it's easier to kind of catch that melody and so that's what I did I didn't really have like a whole method for the bridge really I kind of wrote it however I wanted to and then for the last part I did the chorus twice so the first time around I sang it like I've been doing for the first two times and then the last time around I changed it and I go higher up and stuff like that just to kind of have like this like grand finale kind of moment at the end and so yeah lyrically I didn't really struggle too much with this song I just feel like um, Josh really helped me out with the no more nights losing sleep crying over you and just kind of having the repetition of the overuse and then overdue is also like kind of rhymes with overuse so that's where that came from and so Josh helped me there but for the bridge and the verses and stuff I kind of wrote it all on my own and yeah the runs at the end just kind of I was just experimenting in my closet when I was recording the song and I just went took forever to get over you over you over you 
and then whatever I was just kind of like experimenting and that's where that came from but yeah that's basically the lyrics I mean this is what my songwriting book looks like it is a complete disaster looking but it made sense at the time I don't even know how to follow this now but yeah so released it June 24th and the uh, album art so the album art i took it at burnaby lake last year when i went for a walk with my parents and i actually didn't take that photo for over you i was just taking photos um i don't know for instagram and for memories and stuff and so that's what i was doing when we went on that walk i was really happy that day and i think i had just finished writing over you as well and so i was just in a really good mood and it just reminded me of just how happy i am and finally feeling like i'm getting over this person and basically the album art um I'll put a picture of it on the screen but you can see like a little corner of it is black and white and then the rest is like a really beautiful green with the blue sky and stuff like that um, so basically what that represents again I made that album art myself because still didn't know how to hire a graphic designer and stuff didn't even think of it basically what the black and white means is like my dark past because I feel like I was having like this super sad like just not in a good headspace type a uh, few years before that and so that kind of represented that I was like leaving that behind and I was going towards like a brighter future and that's why I was like like I um, hired up my oh my god I don't know how to explain this <laughs> I was a uh, um, I made this saturation kind of higher so that it's like super colorful on the side that I'm on and then I'm kind of leaving my dark past behind kind of thing. Yeah, I'm like looking towards the direction of just like being happy and um, going towards better things, brighter future type things. I'm pretty good at thinking of like these like hidden things like that mean something to me, um, but I'm obviously not very good at explaining them, so I'm sorry, but that's basically what that means. And I wrote over you in the little, um, the, that font because um, I realized that even if I were to get a message or something like that from him I could tell him that I'm over him and I don't want to see him anymore and that's basically what the over you is like I could text that and that's why the text looks like a little like digital um, whatever so that's basically what that means it wasn't like too too creative but that's where that album art came from and so yeah, that's basically all I have to really say about that song. I recorded it in my closet, had a few layers, and tested out with some harmonies and things like that. That's another thing if you want to like emphasize a certain phrase in your song is to like have a lot of different layers and maybe try singing it in different octaves so that you can layer it and make it a little bit quieter in the background but it feels like a lot of people are singing that part with you or something like that. That's something I also learned writing that song. And yeah, Josh was really happy with the end product and I was really happy with it. And I just feel like it was just a fun, poppy song. And so, yeah. Anyways, you guys, that's pretty much all I have to say about Overuse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. My EP comes out super soon, so make sure you check out my Instagram to make sure that you're updated about when it's coming out and stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys with another cover and I will see you very soon. Bye.